Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how to move from Java 1.5 JRE errors to Java 1.8 support with the Maven compiler plugin. So how do you get rid of that annoying Java 1.5 Maven problem? So let me create a new Maven project. I'm gonna create a simple project here using Eclipse. Com.mcnz will be that. And I'll call it the Maven Force JDK Artifact ID. That doesn't really matter. What matters is I create this project. So I'm gonna click Finish. And I take a look at the annoying error that comes up. And you can see right here, it says, hey, there's a JRE compiler error and a build path error and 1.5 and 1.8 and all this other junk here. So how do you get rid of that? Well, I wrote an article over on the serverside.com and I would highly suggest you go take a look at it. And it says, you know, you can approach this in a couple of ways. Um, if you specify in the Maven compiler plugin, build plugin, add this to your Maven POM file. Say you wanna use Java release 11, if you've got that on your local machine, or if you wanna force it to 1.8, which I know a lot of people are doing, all you have to do is put this build entry into the POM file. So build plugins, we want the Maven compiler plugin, and here I'm gonna say, make the source and make the target 1.8. Now, by the way, since 3.8 of this plugin, which I'm using up here, you can specify the release. That might work for you better as well. But I'm just gonna copy that, show you how to fix this. Come over into the POM file. There it is right there, right under version. I don't have any dependencies right now. I just add that in. Always a good idea to do a source format to make things look handsome. Click Control S and oh no, I've got more problems. Well, that's only because I haven't updated my Maven project. So now I click uh, Maven Update Project. Be very patient as the project updates. All of a sudden, wham, bam, kaboom, all of those errors are gone. And there you go. That's how easy it is to fix that JRE 1.5 compliance level and force the source and the target to be compiled with a JDK 1.8 or any release of your choosing. And there you go. That's how easy it is to put in Java 1.8 or even Java 11 support into the Maven compiler plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial, there's more over on the serverside.com. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.